Let's get to Katie Garner right now. She's at Wilbur by the Sea. These have been the dramatic moments that we've seen over the last 24 hours. Uh, Katie, good morning. Uh, what's the scene like out there? All right, here's the deal. We've got a lot of locals with us that live on the mainland side. Their houses are fine. We've got a lot of neighbors. Oh, God, sorry, I just got sand in my eye. Mm, it's fine. So look down here at this. this photographer Jeff was standing yesterday when it was in good shape and then looked down at this beach or what was kind of, you know, supposed to be the beach. That's where I was standing yesterday for the live shot. Now look at this house. Just as of this morning, where I was standing yesterday, the house has fallen in. I see things down there like a grill, a great deal of cinder block, palm trees. Uh, we're seeing a lot of structural damage on that wall. That wall was actually more intact yesterday than it is today. Again, we were right down there in the action, and now if we were there, it could have been uh, really, really bad. I'll tell you what, the sea is angry today. It's much angrier than it was yesterday. We were staying at the Hard Rock Hotel, Jeff and I. We went out by the pool, and we stood by the wall, the, the sea wall, I guess you would call it. The waves were pounding it, coming up so high above that seawall. Um, also want to make a mention, I have seen these huge telephone pole sized logs rolling in from the sea here. So, you know, I love that, you know, if, if you're a local, you didn't leave. I, I kind of hate that for you, but I love that you're down here being safe and checking on your neighbors. What I don't love is people trying to get in the water. It's just dumb, okay? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I'm gonna. It's just dumb. Don't do that. You're asking for something bad to happen if you get in this water because there's so many nails on these boards and debris and whatnot. It's just downright a big problem. Look at this, Jeff. Get that uh, log right there. That log, I mean, you know what that must weigh. And it is just rolling like a toothpick around as these waves come in and out. It's very jarring. It's doing it to a lot of stones, too. So imagine what that must weigh and then think about what you weigh. You got to stay out of that water. As we continue to track this here, I met a local. His name is Christian. He's He's wonderful. He's going to take us over to another house in a safe place. We're going to be able to uh, examine that house as well. I'm told many houses on this street, as you all have been told all morning, are already in the ocean. It's just devastating. I mean, we sit here and say, oh, you know, the house rolled in the ocean. It's terrible. Imagine if that were you guys, your family albums, your pictures, the house you probably dreamed of beachfront for years is gone. It is a true tragedy because of Mother Nature, and we're going to be covering it all day. Back to you. Katie, I know yesterday you were down in Daytona Beach Shores. You were right there where the, you know, the, yeah. the Lucia County Beach Safety Building had fallen into the water. Now you're in Wilbur by the Sea. Give me a comparison of the two areas because those two seem to be the hardest hit. Here's the thing, Amy, they're very hard hit and they're devastating both. And I can, I think that word's appropriate, as Jamie said this morning, in different ways. Uh, basically, where we were at yesterday, Ian had done so much damage that it felt like Nicole was the icing on the cake, just pounding in. The winds were stronger, but we were in a bit of a wind tunnel. This, the wind is whipping you. Oh, you're not really in a wind tunnel, but I tell you what, the more debris I'm seeing today and this house falling down, this is worse. I mean, this is worse. We've driven up and down the street, law enforcement everywhere, people's homes, one by one are gone. So, Amy, I got to tell you, I mean, yesterday was absolutely devastating, but it was really succumbed to that one area. This is just miles and miles of true devastation that I, it'll take years to recover from if they can. Yeah, yeah. Katie can't imagine. Probably six weeks ago, they probably didn't think this was possible. Oh, no, yeah. Katie Garner, thank you oh, so I know. much. I know. Yeah, be careful out there. Thanks, Katie.